But let's get on. Let's talk about this subject of safety and vibrancy and having a vibrant culture. First, first of all, I've tell you, safety has a bad reputation. Honest, I'm positive. And I don't mean because it's not important. That part of the reputation is, perf- is awesome. I know I've worked a lot of oil and gas companies, and uh, even some of you that are here, Shell and Imperial Oil, uh, you take safety seriously. And if I went to your employees and asked them, uh, is safety taken seriously here? Uh, they would, one to ten might be nine, ten, who knows what. However, safety in general has a bad reputation as being boring. I want to show you proof. I have proof I can show you, and I'm also going to tell you a story. I Googled, I put one images in Google, and I was just kind of trying to get some pictures, not for this, just, and I Googled safety meeting. That's all I put in there, and images. And this is the image that came up. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I, I never expected that to come up, but it sure did. Well, uh, a few years ago, I'm down in um, Florida, at Orlando, and I'm giving a talk, I'm going to give a talk to about 700 people for the IT department for the Forest Service in North America. And I'm sitting at the, at the lounge, the hotel lounge, and I'm having a glass of wine and a salad, and this woman comes over, Beverly Gonzalez, and she was a real sweetheart. I, I mean, we had talking right away, I was asking about her family and her kids and where she's from, and, and I said, well, what are you doing here? And she says, oh, I'm here at a convention for the IT department for the Forest Service. There's folks here from all over North America, some from Canada, United States, and from Mexico. And we're having a big convention. I said, oh, really? Now, i got to tell you, on the schedule for this convention, I was giving a luncheon talk the second day. And all it said was luncheon safety talk. That's it. It didn't even say my name or the topic. The topic was actually about stress. So anyway. So I'm saying to Beverly, uh, well, what did you do today? She goes, well, we had a brainstorming uh, session I went to. She says there was different ones uh, to learn how to work with people to solve problems. I said, yeah, then what did you do? She goes, oh, and in the afternoon, she said we had a thing that had to do with team building, and we had this other thing with one of some software program we have. I said, oh, okay. I said, what are you doing tomorrow, Beverly? She goes, well, in the morning, we're actually rolling out this software, and we're seeing all of the different elements of it and what it does or doesn't do. I said, oh, oh, really? I said, and then what are you doing? She goes, oh, and then we got to listen to some boring safety talk. I was like, oh, it gets better. So so then we're talking some for a little bit, and she says to me, "Um, what are you here for, Richard? I said, tomorrow, Beverly, at lunch, I'm giving some boring safety talk to the IT department here. (laughs) She goes, no, oh, oh, no, I didn't mean, no, no. Well, this is what happens now. She's so embarrassed, all red. Oh, she was such a nice person, though, but she was so, so embarrassed. Her girlfriend, Kathy, because that's why she came up to the bar to get a drink for her and Kathy. So Kathy comes, and she's going to go to the restroom, and Beverly, still embarrassed, says, Kathy, come here, i, I got to introduce you to somebody. So Kathy comes over. Who, Kathy was really a witty clown, so she comes over, and she goes, Kathy, this is Richard Hawk. He's going to give our safety talk tomorrow at our luncheon. And she looks at me and she goes, ooh, safety. (laughs) So the next day, I get up on stage, and like you did, you clapped for me, which is cool. You know, it helps me with energy and all that kind of stuff. And I go to the audience. I said, look, thank you for clapping for me. It helps me. I get the energy. And I really need it today because last evening, I met this woman, Beverly Gonzalez. (laughs) I said, but let's just call her Maria. <laughs> and so her friends all throughout the, t- and we hung out together, she was really nice, uh, all throughout the convention that night, uh, her, her friends and people who knew her were calling her Maria. But how about that? How about that thinking her? And that's just one of so many where that has happened. You see, uh, safety has got this thing about being boring, but it's not. See, safety isn't boring. You're boring. <laughs> you don't have to be, though. This is a wonderful, f- crazy, awesome subject. It really is. We have just approached it in a way that makes it boring or makes it less uh, exciting.